So for today, we're going to be looking at Mantle of Battle Harmony. This did get asked for not too long ago, and we're going to be looking at what it does, how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and the ornament as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Warlocks, if you guys don't know, I already made the Geomags video. It's right here. You guys can check it out. And we do essentially what we're going to be doing in this video. So I would appreciate you guys looking at that video or any other content for that matter. Tell your homies. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at what it actually does. Absorption cells. Takedowns with weapons that have a damage type matching your subclass element grant you super energy. While your super energy is full, you instead gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage of the type matching your subclass element. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I've been told it's really good and I that's all I really have to say on the matter. As for the actual look of it, I actually think it looks really cool and has a lot of potential when it comes to fashion. I, even the example set that I made, I think looks really, really cool. But as for how it shaders, I definitely like it a lot better than other exotics considering I think damn near everything changes color. So that's really, really cool. For the example set i definitely don't know what the hell i was going for i like the pants or i like the boots the thunderhead boots with the chest piece i think the both of them combine really well um and i think the helmet and arms are just like a byproduct of like well it looks electrical so let me just go electrical because the painted kitsune gloves have like electrical currents going through them and then the legacy oath cal just is like like robotic i guess and for the bond thorium halt is because the electrical like wires coming out so like for me i was thinking like electrical current type things which is not a bad look i definitely think it looks pretty cool granted i probably would switch out legacy oath cal for something else for the shader we're using vitrified chronology just because i think the purple looks really cool and for those of you who don't know legacy cal or legacy oath cal um the like the hologram in the face does not change color so i was like fuck it we'll go for like try to match that purple or pink and i think i did a really good job um if i could tell you like one gripe is i guess i would switch out the boots with like, something that has a glow so that way i can like really match it but the problem is that the vitrified chronology has an off color that's like a dirty white which is why I didn't go for the other ones because I had two other ones in my head, but they had that dirty white, which I was not a fan of. So I definitely think this looks cool and it has a lot of potential to like make it even cooler. As for the ornament, it's called Rosend Drone. I definitely think this looks really cool. Apologies that I don't have the, the chess piece, the only thing that's there because I actually don't own this, uh, which is surprising, but I definitely will buy it when I, when it comes up for bright dust, because I definitely think it looks really cool. And the example set I made, it looks really cool with it as well. As for how it shaders, I definitely think it shaders really well, like the, uh, base look of it because everything does change color as well. And for the example set, I ended up going for kind of like an alien vibe because the the like arms things that come out of the chest piece definitely give me like aliens vibe and not like alien like xenomorph, just alien in general, like unknown. So for the helmet, these fetish cover is a perfect one for this. The arms, I think, can be better used because the condescence gloves is not a good fit. So I would probably just switch the arms out for something else. Uh, the boots, boots of the Taken King, I think will go really well with it. Granted, if I could turn off the glow, it would even been better. And then for the bond, the ancestral bond with the chin and slate combo is what I'm going for, because I actually think this doesn't need a glove because you have the like circlets, not circlets, but the bracelets on the elbows. I think that's cool. It doesn't need anything else. 
So for the shadering, Nougat Delight is what I'm going for just because, again, I'm going for Alien and I think this shader is such a good combo for that. So let me know what you guys think about this one. I definitely like it. I love the helmet and the chest piece. I think those two are really good together. Um, Boots of the Taken King would have been better if it actually took shaders really well. Because again, like I've said from multiple videos and even the review for the Taken King, the glow, the glow over the armor is just such a bad choice that it kind of dilutes shaders a lot. Like for example, you guys will notice that the plate armor color for the helmet, everything but the boots is a different color than the boots. The boots has like a bone white and then the plate armor color for everything else, more like a <clears throat> more like a true bone color. Like it's, it's a lot deeper than the boots. So I would probably just switch out the boots for something else or find a shader that matches the color of the plate armor for everything else. So let me know what you guys think. Warlocks, I had a lot of fun with this video because I was just honestly, I didn't think I was going to make some banger sets with the with these two just because I never used them and I honestly don't really didn't really care about them. So, but now that I've made some cool sets, I definitely am going to be using these exotics or this exotic, I should say. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.